This is the greatest noise I have ever heard. <laughs> so good. Wait for it. <laughs> <laughs> What's up guys? Hi guys, welcome back to our channel and another video. And believe it or not, we are in a new location. Any guesses where? I mean, from the intro you probably might have forgotten. Mm, Actually, possibly. it's probably the title of this video. If too. you know your worldwide buildings, then you might. But we are in Shanghai, yeah, China. Yeah, we're in China. I never thought we'd be in China. I ne it was never a country that, like China in general, was never like a country massively high on our list. But it just comes about that this is kind of where flights have took us and we're now here right in the center of Shanghai and yes we are going to be taking a lot of photos yeah I'm really excited the temperature is like literally perfect it is the, the evening times get pretty cold but right now the temperature is perfect there's lots of good opportunities for pictures we've actually already got a few now we're going to get some more so let's go So far, Shanghai has proven to be an ideal location for what we do in terms of street photography and just like capturing an area through the lens as we like to do. So much going on, so many cool buildings. The buildings and are like the coolest shape ever. It's like, literally like one of the coolest places we've been. Yeah, this is kind of what, well I mean I didn't really know what to expect here but I knew like it would be like quite different than anything we've seen before. and. Yeah, it's uh, it's living up to expectations. <laughs> oh, hey there. Don't mind us. We're just popping by to let you know about today's awesome sponsor. So the sponsor of today's video is Skillshare and Skillshare is an online learning platform where you can join online classes and learn about literally anything. They have so many classes in so many different categories from graphic and design to film and video, and of course, photography. Yes, and we have actually recently been watching one from Brandon Wolfel, which I know some of you may know. He is actually a YouTuber on here too, and his course is... It's about Instagram-worthy photography, um, and all about his process and how he gets creative with his pictures. Uh, Brandon Wolfel was actually a big, like, inspiration is, for us when we is. started photography. He is so one I'm of so the first this. kind of photographers that we were really interested in just because yeah. of his different style and the way he does things. So it's interesting for us to see a complete behind the scenes of what he does, why he does it and how he learned to do it the way he does it. And that is just one of many classes that we will be watching because there's so much that we need to learn. There's so there's, much you it, can learn. It never stops with photography, videography, there's so many different things 
that I want to watch and learn more about so we can make the best content that we can. Exactly. It is a new year. It's actually a new decade, 2020. Why not make this the year where you actually start on that thing that you've been thinking about maybe the past year, maybe the past few years. Could be a YouTube channel like what we're doing. It could be a new business. Why not jump on and give yourself a little head start by learning more about that particular field. Just learn more about it. It just helps. Whether it's something completely new or it's something that you have a passion for that you want to just learn more about, explore your creativity, Skillshare is the online place for you to do that. And we actually know a lot of you guys are like small Dude. creators as well, maybe have a small YouTube channel, love to make videos, a lot of you guys love photography too. So it's the best place to learn lots and lots of stuff about those things. And here is the best part. Because you watch us right now, you get the chance to get your hands on two free months of premium membership for Skillshare. Now that is a lot of time to join many classes and it's free. So click the link in the description below to sign up for your two free months for premium membership of Skillshare. So make today the day. Because if you don't start today, then you never will. So thanks so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. We look forward to making 2020 a year where we further our skills yeah. and knowledge. Push ourselves. So we can make even greater content for you guys. Okay, let's jump back into the video. Okay, so you know when we do these videos, we always need a little snack in between and tea slash juice seems to be huge here. There's so many like little tiny stalls slash shops selling it. So obviously we're gonna need a little break, you chill out a little bit. It's not quite golden or yet. We have we have got quite a few picks and we've got quite a bit of time to spare. So let's grab some tea. And this place is called Supreme Tea, which may be interesting. I don't know if it's like English breakfast tea, fruit tea, but it's all, tea. it's all tea. Bubble tea, it's all tea to us though. Quite nice, very orangey. It's like a kind of like a diluted coffee with like orange in it. That sounds weird. I mean, I've had better drinks, and uh, I think yours is gonna be better. So, as you can see, got ourselves some, where's mine? Some tea in China. Supreme tea, may I add. Oh, yeah, the it will be, time it will be the only time I will ever have anything supreme. Look at this cup. Lots of people love this. I, on the other hand, do not. Mm -hmm. But um, the tea I got, which you're actually drinking, was an orange. It's actually coffee. Orange coffee, it says. And this was what? Black uh, or brown, brown sugar. sugar tea milk tea which is kind of like um what do you call the tea bubble tea bubble tea very nice <laughs> mine's on the other hand was Not like so a watery diluted juice slash coffee and i would rate it uh for a five out of ten pretty damn boring but yeah getting some good shots here um something this camera is so heavy something quite interesting did just happen though we uh we're sitting in the park drinking our tea we were trying to get this shot, which we just got here. And uh, yeah, some, like a group of people. Uh, Older this, this was people. after we literally get stirred up by everyone. And I mean, like all of these people that are walking behind the camera, all stirring. I mean, so, I, I get it because we're vlogging, but we weren't at this time. Yeah, that's true. And, and we're used to standing out. Like most of the places we've been to, uh, we do get a lot of people staring at yeah. us because we're foreigners, right? We stand out. But here, here in China has been beyond anything we've like, ever experienced. I'm just given my opinion on this. This is the thoughts I have is, it is, it does come across as extremely rude because I get staring at people, taking a glance and be like, oh, I wonder what they're doing. But once you walk past somebody from literally like 
a yard away from them and stare the whole way like, like literally into in, their face like, in, like like this like literally like that that is um a little too far for me and when we were sitting down with the camera just drinking our tea this group of people just came up and one of them just stood behind us and i looked, we were like hello i looked around because i thought he was take he was looking at what we were like filming take, yeah. he, but we weren't actually filming anything so he i think i thought he was look coming around to look at the camera to see what we were doing, we were doing yeah. but he just smiled and like he pointed smiled. forward and then the other woman just took a picture of him with us and it was i don't mind taking pictures with people and yeah, if you come up and not. ask then it's all good because obviously we look different maybe there's not a lot of, i don't not understand tourists or something yeah I'm not, I'm not but sure. yeah it was very very strange. very strange and yeah that's my thoughts on it we might talk more about this probably in the next podcast just because yeah. we always find it interesting to see what like what sort of attention you get in a in a new city what how people react yeah how the people react and this has we've we've got a lot like we said so we're we're quite used to it but this has been a little step more than we're than we're used to yeah Um, but it it gets to the point where they're looking at you like you've done something wrong or that's the thing i like i'm almost not sure as if like we shouldn't be here doing what we're doing or is somebody going to yell at us but we've looked it up and there's no real issues with photography at least not what we're doing anyway um i guess they're just curious and i I hope that's just the reason that we get well we're we're never going to know so yeah it's interesting give us your thoughts below We finally got finished a video before it gets dark. True. That usually doesn't happen. Um, yeah, we had a really good, a good day. I think we got lots of shots. Yeah, Obviously, I feel it's, like we did. you never know until you go home and do the editing process. But I feel like we got some really good ones. Um, let us know in the comments below though which ones were your favourite. This was a really good street photography day here in Shanghai. Right now we're just gonna chill out, eat some food, get started editing this video, and. Yeah, that's pretty much it. If you liked it, do give it a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already um, for lots of good videos just like this. And we will see you in the next one. Yeah, and also check out the new podcast episode, which would have just went live on both our channel and the podcast channel. That's true. Lots of good, interesting topics were discussed. (laughs) You say that. Why is it? And as we always say, take it easy. Don't be a stranger.